right, meow. Where were we? I'm sorry, are you saying meow? Am I saying meow? Do I look like a cat to you, boy? Holy cannoli, the turn speed on this mecha is not fun. Tail Concerto is a funny little game where you play as a funny little dog cop. The vast majority of the game you're running around in a Studio Ghibli meets Mega Man Legends police mecha and sending children to the Shadow Realm. Really starting to think CyberConnect 2 has something against children at this point. It's also not a game without a lot of flaws, but that's in part because of the system limitations at the time. Gotta love spawning into that infinite death loop. This thing came out in 1998, a year after Mega Man Legends, and took plenty of other inspiration from that game aside from just the mecha design. As they should have, because Mega Man Legends is goaded. The world is made up of a series of floating islands where airships are the primary method of travel, and there are ancient artifacts scattered about said world that reveal an old civilization lost to time. I mean, the parallels are obvious. What do you mean if you knew the bomb was gonna explode, you'd throw it back? It's a bomb! Did it look like a bomb? Oh yeah, it looked like a bomb. Here's where we start to learn the core mechanics of the game, and the core mechanics are grab thing, throw thing, bada bing. Simple. Of course, that's not the only tool at our disposal. Every serious cop comes equipped with a bubble blaster. I take notes, cause the game might be onto something with that one. You hit them with your bubble beam, stop them in their tracks, and grab them, and where'd they go? Oh no, Waffle, what did, what did you do? Your name is Waffle, by the way. Do you like In case it wasn't obvious, this game is much lighter hearted than Fuga, despite belonging to the same canon. I better not catch you throwing my furniture around. I wouldn't do that, come on. So anyway, the whole game you'll be tailing the Black Cats Gang, Black Cats Gang, Black Cats Gang, Black Cats Gang, Psycho Mantis. Black Cats Gang, Alicia, which is who appears to be our main antagonist at first, the leader of the Black Cats Gang basically believes the dog people hate the cat people. This, of course, isn't true. Dog people don't hate cat people. But it's the root belief that drives the story forward, and it's the reason why she became a terrorist. Waffle, are they gonna put us in jail? Yes! You have literally been dropping bombs on the populace. Don't worry, I'll tell them you're sorry for what you did. What?! The real villain is this little purple cat dude in a top hat. My He's using the Black Cat Gang to search for five MacGuffin Crystals. These MacGuffin Crystals are eventually going to be used to revive the Iron Giant. No, not that Iron Giant. This Iron Giant. Cool looking bugger, ain't it? You don't actually get to fight it, though. We didn't get to fight real giant bosses until the Di- the, the Di- Bijin? Officially released May 20th of 2004. Now. Pretend instead that I didn't tell you anything about that game and what I actually said was Shadow of the Colossus, which came out October 18th of 2005. Instead, we get one of the more classic cop-outs. Actually, it's more like a cop-in. <laughs> because we defeat it from the inside. Now, I know I suck, but the stage that takes place inside the Iron Giant is one of the most unpleasant final stages I've played in a video game. The most interesting thing that happens in that stage is that it replaces your bubble blaster with a green buster shot. And that's really just a visual change. Add moon gravity and some moderately fast moving platforms. This wouldn't be so bad if your jump didn't rely on you to have some kind of prior momentum. Don't get me wrong. You've got some air control, but it doesn't make up for it. It is obnoxiously hard to platform up to the top of this level. It's not even particularly long, it's just annoying. And if you're not firing your buster every few seconds in random directions, then one of these stupid jellyfish things is eventually going to knock you all the way back down to the bottom. This game had a couple of annoying platforming challenges, to be honest, but none of them aside from this one that I was stuck on for any particularly crazy length of time. The boss of this final stage is also incredibly annoying, and it's really just because of one attack. If you're not already running and have built up some kind of momentum prior to it beginning the attack animation, you're just not going to avoid the attack. If it has started that animation, you're already too late, so you have to keep moving and pray that for some reason it doesn't hit you with it anyway. There's supposedly a dive you can perform by flicking the stick in the opposite direction and pressing jump or something to that effect, but I couldn't get that move to work consistently. Uh, maybe it could have helped, I don't know. In general, it's not too hard to figure out boss gimmicks in this game. You beat them all the same way. That's right, grab thing, throw thing, squeeze in a few bubble blasts where you can, and when the bosses are as easy to figure out as they are, it can get to feeling like the majority of them are just health tanks and you're fighting a battle of attrition. 
Tail Concerto is a short game, and I like the characters. Look, look at this stupid guy. He's named after a color. So yeah. That's how you know he's important. Everybody that's named after a color is important. I sacrificed myself to warn you of this trap. Right. He fills the role of the village idiot slash rival. I don't usually do this, but just this once, I'll let you fight him. Then we have Panta. I'm jealous of your way with a ladies officer, Waffle. Oh, I wish I was as tall as you. This little dude's pretty cool, I like him. Now, would I recommend Tail Concerto to the average man? It's a dated game with clunky controls and camera movement. The saving grace for me is that the characters and art direction are solid. So, I couldn't in good faith recommend it to the average man. Retro gamers and furries, give it a look over. I swear to God if she takes that thing off and her eye is still... Ooh.